First, you're going to get a little Greek lesson this morning. Uh, you're going to le- learn a little Greek, and this is at the top of your outline on page 5. We're going to talk about three interchangeable words used in the New Testament for this function, for this role in the body of Christ. And these words really, I'll show you an example of just how interchangeable they are here in just a minute. But here are the three words. The first one is poimeng, which is sometimes transliterated or sounded out to be pastor, uh, or it's translated to be shepherd, poimeng. So a church is supposed to have poimeng, supposed to have shepherds. Um, The second word on this list on your outline is episkopos, episkopos, which can be um, translated as bishop or overseer. Overseer, Somebody that cares for the flock, that's looking over the flock. And then the third word is presbyteros, which can be transliterated as presbyters, which sounds really old and really churchy, um, or it can be translated to be elders. So these are the three words that the Bible uses in the New Testament in a very complementary, interchangeable way. All three of the words, shepherd, overseer, and elder, have to do with caring for people. All right? It's really pretty basic. They are about caring for people. And in the New Testament contexts, the idea conveyed is not one of a board of directors, is not one of like a CEO model of leadership, but is really a servant model of leadership, caring for people's emotional, spiritual, and yes, even physical needs. So, so the New Testament concept, the feel of these words in the original languages, the feel of these words is a very servant leader kind of concept. What we're looking for as we think about names that we might write down and call out from among the flock, what we're looking for are shepherds. What we're looking for are servants who will serve the flock. A shepherd's mission is about selflessly caring for and serving the flock. And that word serve just keeps coming up in that text. It's about serving and caring for the flock. The second thing is this. A shepherd leads by example. All right? Leads by influence, if you will. Not by bossing people around. Of course, Peter didn't say that. He said, lording it over. But I think a more modern translation of his words would be, they don't boss people around. Peter essentially says that an elder who tries to run things is going to ruin things. And then the third thing that Peter mentions for us is that a shepherd follows the example of Jesus. Okay, shouldn't be anything too shocking for you. But Peter says in that last verse we read that Jesus is the chief shepherd. He is the shepherd of the shepherds. He is part of church leadership. He is the model of what being a shepherd looks like. He is the alpha. He's the omega. If you want to learn about servant leadership, get close to Jesus and you're going to learn all about it. And then the fourth thing I want you to write down is this, and I'm so grateful to serve at a church where this doesn't even need to be talked about, where this is just not an issue. But number four, obviously it is with some issues, because uh, with some congregations, because Peter talks about it. He says a shepherd is motivated not by material gain, not by financial gain, but by their love for God's people and the promise of eternal reward. They love people, We're looking at what? We're looking at a kind of person. We're looking at a type of... We're looking at a profile. Um, We're looking at the ideal shepherd. And let's not forget that as we take a look at these passages. All right? Um, I think what's crystal clear in both letters that he writes is that elders must be men who have sound judgment. They're good thinkers, right? They have exemplary families. Um, Their marriage and their child raising is is a good example to everybody around them. They are men of of high personal integrity, very high personal integrity. They relate well with others, and they have a good witness to the outside world. Those are things that are common to both of those letters. 